So I knew this long distance runner and somebody asked her, what's the hardest part about running long distances? And she said, without a flinch, putting your shoes on. I was like, what? Oh, yes, that's so true. I mean, I run and exercise and all that and I go after dreams and, and, and goals. And often the hardest part is just getting out the door. Convinced in your mind, dealing with all the excuses and all the other obstacles, it's getting out the door and doing it. Once I'm out there, then I'm like, I'm having a great time. I love running. This feels great. But it's getting out the door, putting those shoes on. Well, hey there, I'm Mari Cristante. I am the artist here at Fight Song Studio, and I make art to help you inspire yourself because it's inspired people that change the world. It's inspired people who live their best life and impact the world around them. So I think it's important that we put strategic art around us to inspire us to be our best selves. So the image that we're gonna talk about today in this deep dive video is a, this called the Star Within the Launch. And it's a part of a seven image series called the Star Within series, where I um, unpack what it's like when you live awakened to who you are to what you're made to do, to that greatness inside. It compels you to have these different experiences. And this is one feature that I think is significant, which is the launching stage. And so today I'm gonna to take you into Photoshop and show you behind the scenes and how I made the image. And then I'm going to tell you about some of the secret messages I hid inside. So let's go now into Photoshop and I will show you how I made it. Okay, well, welcome to Photoshop. Here you can see the final picture, and on the right you can start to see all the layers. This first part is just all the color tweaking that I did, and then um, you'll see a bunch of glitter layers. Uh, there's just so much that goes into it. The way I photographed the glitter is I, I was shooting above onto a white piece of paper, photographed um, a bunch of different colors and textures of glitter, and then in Photoshop, I deleted all the white away from it. So then I could use the texture and the shape of the glitter uh, without the white paper. And then I could play around with it and build it, build on it like I wanted. Worked out really well. Definitely very experimental. <laughs> and you'll see here, we start to get into the model and I have kind of cut her up into little pieces <laughs> with her skirt and her legs and all that's going on in there her arms. Just keep taking these layers off so you can see how it all came together. I always like to shoot the skirt separately just to add more body and volume um, and movement. It's just a fun thing to play with. And you can see how I changed the color of the glitter. It started, oh, it was confetti. It started like that. Now we're taking off the background layers, a lot of tweaking on the colors, muting the back, adding sky expanding the picture. That's where we started with her jumping off that trampoline. As you can see, I made her a little bit taller and we ended there. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Hey there. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that tour behind the scenes. Now let's dive in to the meat of this image, what it's about. So like I said, this is a part of a seven image series called the star within. This one's the Star Within the Launch. The Star Within series is all about the experiences that happen when you live awakened to your true identity, when you live awakened to what you're capable of, when you live awakened that there is greatness inside of you and it needs to come out. And it compels you to want to do just this, to launch into something that's bigger than yourself, to, to step out, to step up, to, to try something. It just compels you to want to take the risk and to go for it. But what I want to talk about in this image are four different points of view that um, a person will experience while they are doing this, while they are launching. Point of view number one, other jumpers. Other jumpers are people that have also done this. They've gone before you, they've risked, they've, they've stepped, they've put themselves out there, they've either succeeded or failed or fall on their, fell on their face, but have gotten up and tried again. They are people that live awakened to who they are and have redefined what success and failure are to them. 
To them, success is defined by trying, not necessarily by the outcome. And, and failure is more defined by, by um, not trying rather than the outcome. These are important people in your life to keep on the front row of your experience because they are gonna be the ones cheering you on. They're gonna be the ones that you can relate to as you go through the different phases of stepping out. <laughs> they're gonna get where you're at and they're gonna know how to encourage you and support you. So get these people on the front row. Uh, perspective number two, the non-jumpers. So you have the jumpers and then you have the non-jumpers, the people that don't want to risk, they don't want to try, they don't want to put themselves out there and be vulnerable. And, and their definition of failure is it not working out or is, you know, um, is it not working out like they want. It, it's out of their control. Now these people will give you a list of all the reasons why you shouldn't. <laughs> They'll tell you why it's safer to stay back, why it's um, why you shouldn't put yourself out there. And they can be very logical and it's very real to them, very practical, but it's also rooted, it's usually rooted in a fear and they're not living with that awareness that there could be, that, that, um, that there could be something exciting out there and that you can learn and grow from these experiences and you're gonna be okay. <laughs> I wouldn't give these people a front row seat because um, they're just going to add some negativity that you're already dealing with enough fear and insecurity and, and filtering through that on your own <laughs> that you don't need that from other people's from other people. Okay, perspective number three is that of pre-jumpers, I like to call them, people that one day want to also jump. These are, so on this photo shoot, she brought her niece and nephew along, so cute, tiny little kids. There was also a couple of classes, uh, like elementary school or something, that were having a field trip day out there. So all these little kids were watching her. And I thought it was significant because they weren't just watching her jump on a trampoline in the middle of a park, but they were watching her step into something unknown. They were watching her take a risk and put herself out, live, live from that place of identity. I have a niece and ne a nieces and nephew too, and I constantly think about them when I make decisions because I want to be a good model for them, a role model, an example of what it looks like to live a life of courage, to live a life of faith, to live a life of, of risk, knowing that um, I can overcome what happens, you know? So I think about them a lot. These are also important people to have on your front row and to give them backstage pass into the process to let them know that that it's real and genuine and, and it's not always easy, but you can keep going. Okay, the third point of view that is that of the jumper, the person that's putting themselves out there. They are filtering through, you know, their own belief system, their own thoughts, let alone taking on all what everybody, what the people around them are saying. And there, um, you're, there you're deciding what is going to be my basis, the basis of this decision? What does success look like for me? What does failure look like for me? Who am I and what am I made to do? Um, this is um, just a very unique point of view that, that nobody else has but you <laughs> when you're jumping. Now, if you are going after something in your life or you want to step out or you, there's been something there that you're like, just, I feel a little stuck, I feel afraid then bring the people around you that bring other jumpers around you to encourage you. So what I want you to do is just um, ask yourself exactly that. Who are the people around me that I'm processing this dream with, this goal with? What, who are they and what is the fruit in their life? What is the result of their life? Do I want to end up like that um, and have those kind of experiences and identify um, and identify where there's courage and where there's fear and what you're gonna choose. So that's a little homework for you today. Um, just to review, the four points of view are that of other jumpers, that of non-jumpers, that of pre-jumpers, and that of the jumper. So leave the comment below, let me know what you think, and tell me about what you're leaping into, what you're stepping into. If you want this print, beside you to encourage you to step into those things and to go for it, you can purchase this print on my website at fightsongstudio.com. I have different sizes up there. While you're there, you can also sign up for my email newsletter. I send out weekly inspiration and also updates on my new art. So um, catch me over there. Thanks so much for 
watching this video. I will be back soon with another one. So follow along. Meanwhile, stay inspired because it's inspired people that change the world. All right. Bye for now.